So there is a new JavaScript runtime out there, which many people believe that it can replace the role of Node.js, even does better performance than Node.js in some cases. It's Dino, and today we are going to talk about it. So what is Dino? According to the official web page, Dino is a runtime for JavaScript. Like Node.js is a runtime for JavaScript, and it's actually a runtime developed by the creator of Node.js. So the person who invented Node.js shares an alternative to Node.js with us, which is really interesting. Well, Riantal, who is the creator of Node.js and Tino, has a couple of regrets about Node.js. And Tino is a simply the better version of Node.js that fixes some issues which I will cover in this video. So let's have a look at the difference between Node.js and Tino. If we look at the official web page of Tino, we can see that Tino is a secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript. And if you look at the official page of Node.js, you can see that Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's v8 javascript engine so the most important thing first nothing is wrong with node.js you can use it and you should not switch to dino just because it's there node.js is getting used by thousands of very large companies it has huge ecosystem and a highly active community node.js is not going anywhere but there are couple of weaknesses in Node.js which could potentially be improved. Firstly, Node.js is focused on JavaScript and does not natively use static types. Secondly, the import syntax is very specific to Node.js and not what we know from the browser. Thirdly, Node.js does not embrace modern JavaScript features like promises. Firstly, it's not secure by default. The last point is tricky one, though not secure by default sounds horrible and it's easy to get this point wrong. Node.js absolutely allows you to build secure applications, but a Node script does not have a built-in security model. To be precise, by default, every Node script has full access to your file system, your network, and your entire environment. This is by design and makes Node.js very flexible, but it also means that tools like ESLint, which are just a big Node.js scripts under the hood, theoretically could do anything with your files on your system. So here comes another question. How does Dino fix those problems? Dino generally can be used for the same things as Node.js. You can use it to build web services, you can use it to build utility scripts, etc. But Dino, by default, supports TypeScript. Hence, it's a JavaScript and TypeScript runtime. And Dino uses ES modules with URL support imports instead of its own module system. And it embraces modern JavaScript features like promises, and it's really secure by default.